I went deep inside rural Texas to talk with Eddie Wayne and his daughter. Their land is at risk of being taken away for the purpose of a reservoir. And I wanted to talk to them, hear how Eddie built his house with his own hands and deals with the stress of being about to lose it. We'll lose that too. It'll, it'll all be gone under, underwater. So you were in the Marines? I've been in the Marines for nine years. Grew up here? Grew up here. Where'd you grow up at? Right, right here, or no, not right here. Right up, up in the middle of Cuthead, by the church. Oh, okay. Uh, the reason I ask that sometimes it's hard for us to realize what we have until we leave it. Is that did it become more apparent to you when you left it? Absolutely. What you had when you're growing up? Absolutely, because while being active duty military, I was in for nine years and got to travel to North Carolina, Japan, uh, Florida, and all different places, and just seeing the different. The differences and then being in Fort Worth, I live in Tarrant County in the Metroplex there and being in the different lifestyles, like I said, it's just uh, down here you can be relaxed and enjoy life and and everything around you where up there it's you feel like you're constantly looking over your shoulder, people pushing and shoving and just it's not the community life that you have down here where everybody's got your back and helping you and looking out for you. So right here with the with the reservoir, I don't know if it's coming right. Right here. Right here. It's going to take so all this, of this. This would be underwater. Mm -hmm. So we're in the bottom of this, so this uh, reservoir, proposed reservoir thing for Dallas, Texas. It's kind of um, one of those places where the city urban dwellers are pushing very hard against rural. So you got a lot of people versus very few people or about a lot of money versus not very much money, right? Right. And it's really sad that places that people want to be, you're coming back to this, even though it's not about money. You exactly. Know. I don't have the conveniences of when I need something, I can just run a couple blocks up to the store and stuff down here. You had you have to plan a little bit better mm -hmm. and manage things better as far as your groceries and um, household needs. So I won't have those conveniences anymore, but it's so much, it's, it's worth it, you know, to have the, the laid, I, I'd say laid back lifestyle. You have to work just as hard for everything, but it's, it's that, that comfort, the relaxation, the knowing that people around you actually care. When you were growing up though, did you want to get out of here? I mean, did it feel weird? Cause, cause you know, living in Montana all my life, I never knew anything different. So I was always wanting to see other places. Then I saw other places, and I'm like, yeah, well, I'm gonna go back to Montana. I did, I did. I wanted to get out of the small town where everybody's in everybody's business, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. uh, and everybody knows everybody. I, I did, I wanted to get away and experience life outside of rural Texas. And then the military, that was the first time I'd really been out of Texas for an extended period of time. Getting to meet people from all over, all different types of cultures, working with people that had come to the U.S. and got their naturalization, and became citizens. Right. Whatever word I'm yeah, looking for, naturalization. Yeah. I think that's right, but all of a sudden <laughs> yeah. it doesn't feel right. Yeah. <laughs> but working with people from all different cultures and lifestyles and then getting to see all, all sorts of different places, it really just, it made me miss home more. Mm. And that's what really drove me to wanting to get home and back down here to to my roots to being able to to hunt for yeah to put meat in the freezer to being able to take the kids on on just nature walks and see everything it just it really hit hit me hardest when i was gone i was in japan for three years and only came home once oh due to the ex, you know the yeah. expense and japan was great don't get me wrong but, mm -hmm. but i missed a lot being gone uh, people passing and not getting to be home for services and and say my goodbyes and but yeah being gone and seeing all that all the different lifestyles and stuff it did to make me miss home and really be grateful for what we have down here right just last weekend opening squirrel season we all came down and camped and cooked out at the camp house on the fires made all our meals on the campfire and let the kids just all run and play together you know you're um your best friend, your your closest friends when you're growing up down here is are your cousins, mm -hmm. are your family. Yeah, you yeah. know, all your they are they all end up being your best friends. Yeah. Exactly, you know that's the the families are so close, and then my kids didn't have that, and now they're they're finally getting to build those bonds that me and me and my family had growing up, my my cousins, and but yeah, I did want to get away, and now all I want is to come home. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if we want to tell them about our hunting accidents, yeah. but <laughs> cut my look at that! I cut my oh, it did on both legs. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, With what? 
What what was it? Six point eight millimeter ballistic round. Oh wow. <laughs> Everybody around here has seen the pictures. Yeah. I'll, I'll bet they have. Okay. Yeah. I've got a plate from here to here. Okay. With 14 screws. Because when they took the cast and everything off, my, it was like a boneless chicken. It just flew. Oh, <laughs> there yeah. Wasn't no bone there to hold oh, it. Oh, no. Took out, yeah. Took out three inches oh, of no. bone. Uh, but, uh, so, how long you lived here? This is I've been place. here. I moved in the house about five years ago, but, okay. it, but it took me five years to build it. Yeah. Did you do it yourself? I, I or? built it by hand, myself. Oh, wow. uh, my sister and my mom helped me some. Uh, a lot of my family members helped me a little bit at a, at, at a point, yeah. some more than less, but uh, it took me five years, and uh, it was I built it and paid for it as it went. So it, it's oh, bought wow. and paid for. Okay. So, so what, did you, what did you make the... Where'd you get these, the logs? And these everything? logs I bought uh, at an auction across the river. It was like a log kit, and they had built some cabins over there. Okay. On, on this, on this used to be a game ranch over here, and they built had some and uh, had an auction. I bought like nine hundred, almost a thousand of them. Oh. And, and uh, I've got probably four hundred and fifty logs in this house, and I've got enough logs to build another one stacked in a barn. <laughs> oh, okay. And they need to be sold. Uh-huh. <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, but anyhow, they were, I think they had them stacked for nine or ten years, so they're well seasoned. They are hard. You can't drive a nail in one of them. Really? Yeah, they're oak. They oh, were, so they're oak, so they're, they're really oak. hard. Yeah, they're oak. And, yeah. Uh, there, there was a few hickories in there, and I've run across, you know, a, just a few different, but most of them are red oak and post oak logs. Hmm. And so how long have you been on this land? Did you grow up around I here? I grew up here. Yeah? I'm 63 years old, and I have two older brothers and two younger sisters, and we grew up here as on, the, on, the, on this is my father's side of the land. Okay. And my mother's land is uh, west of here, and we all we grew up on both, both properties. Both sides but, too, huh? But like I said, we stand to lose did all this we have almost 700 acres here and i think there's 70 or 80 acres over there and we'll lose that too it'll it'll all be gone under underwater <laughs> so, so if they take this stuff yeah, it's going to be the it, whole thing it'll be everything wow. e everything will be under this house will it won't the house won't completely be underwater but it'll be in in the right. water yeah. right because it like, won't be that deep here yeah. or what no uh it's not going to be this as deep here it starts getting shallower here and this is kind of a high spot, but it's going to be. Okay. A, so if I had some good pontoons, I might have. My, right. But uh, I'm not interested in pontoons no. or no houseboat. But uh, man, the problem is, sounds like yeah, you're going to take yeah, the land yeah, before yeah, you ever yeah. get that far, huh? Yeah. 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 But uh, it's it's uh, but I like I said, it's hard to think you're going to lose something that you built by your hand oh, and no places, kidding. you know. And you, like I said, we 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 grew up here and. I've been working on this place, I guess, as long as I could follow my daddy and drag a limb, you know, working on fences and cleaning fence rows and whatever. But we... Uh, so we your did, your dad and mom both lived here. Well, yeah, they were, they were more or less raised. My mother was born just about a quarter of a mile right out yonder. Right out there? Yeah. Okay. Out there on the corner of our fence row. She was born out there. And then your and dad... My dad was born about maybe a mile and a half east of here. Okay. Which at one time, I think my great grandfather owned that land, but it was sold. And, uh, but his, and I remember it was still standing when I was 13 or 14, his house was, or 15, cause I was working on that ranch that y'all were down on that Hearts Bluff Ranch. Yeah. My dad was born on that property, which it wasn't a Hearts Bluff Ranch oh, okay. at the time. But okay. He was born there and then, uh, he took the dozer and pushed his pushed the old house down. He said he was tired of looking at it. Really, it, it reminded him of, of the harsh times, yeah. harsh winters. You know, he said you you know yeah. you, could, you could see through the walls. I see. Yeah, it <laughs> but, probably wasn't yeah, well was, insulated yeah, or nothing yeah, like that. Yeah, he had dirt floor. Had dirt floor. It had dirt yeah. floor huh. But uh, he was born about a mile there. My mother about a quarter mile out here, and, uh, huh. and they've all they were all grew up and right here what, in this what, area. But I'm the fourth generation of seven now okay. and growing. We had this uh, 
this meeting oh, a couple of weeks ago in Dallas, you know, out there at Arlington, whatever. But uh, and like I told them, you can't put a price on land, you know, no. generational land, mm -mm. you know, and uh, there's no price for it. And 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 I actually invited them to come to come spend the weekend here and just see how. I told them their stress level would go from 100 to zero if they just come down here and spend the night, you know, and away from the hustle and bustle of asphalt. Most of the people that's pushing this thing have never seen nothing but asphalt or concrete. They don't know what life is like in a, you know, in a country like this. It's, right. You know, you know, it's just just unreal. Mm -hmm. and, and, and like I asked them, I said, uh, where do I go? You know, the land, everything around us has already been bought up. And most of it from people from Dallas Fort Worth thinking, you know, if they build this thing, we're going to have lakefront property or live close to the, you know, so there's no land left here for myself. My son has a home up here in Cuthand, and it'll actually be on a peninsula. Where, where, will he get to keep his place, or, you know, his house, you know? And so it's, 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 uh, it's not nothing to look forward to for me. Right. I told him if I did, well, if I did, I'd move into Montana. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Except for the winter, that's a great place to be. Well, have, we, which, as kids growing up, we always rode the winning kids that was in the lot. Right. When, when Dad was gone, we played. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> which Mama would let us, but uh, and uh, but we had a good time as kids and cousins and stuff. We'd. We uh, we had a bucking barrel that was probably one of the rankest barrels bucking barrels there was in the country. But <laughs> you said bucking barrel, so yeah. a lot of people don't know what a bucking barrel is. But we yeah. had one as a kid too. Yeah, literally a 55 gallon barrel mm -hmm. hanging between four trees with ropes, and then people get on the ropes yeah. and try to buck you. We off. had ours was on a big tree and had two big limbs come down, so it was on two separate limbs. Oh, okay. And man, that, you, oh, that yeah. thing will get wild now. And get some I, bounce to that yeah, sucker, huh? You didn't want to get bucked off under it because it was going to hook you about four times. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> or step on you. <laughs> it's going to bang you yeah, in the head a yeah, few times. Oh, yeah, oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. 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 But we had a good time growing up with kids. And, uh, and, it, and, it, and I'll tell you, it, it grows on you. The, the weight, you know, the stress, I guess what yeah. I'm trying to say. No one... You know, right now this thing is really kicked up and is hotter on the burner, as you want to say. And uh, and they keep saying we got to have it, which I don't have to have it. It's just you know it ain't. It, I don't think this whole thing's about water. Uh, they say it is, but it's not. If they, they can get all the water they want out of Toledo Bend down in Louisiana, it's been there for years. All the time I told them, I said, y'all been fighting us for all these years. Y'all could have done all the, had all the water you'll ever need. Y'all could have done had it and, and been done with it. And then, but they, it's not, they don't want to listen to that. You know, they, they're, they're dead set for some reason to, <laughs> to try to build this reservoir. Well, can, would you mind showing me yeah, around on, your yeah, house that on. you made here? I don't, I I don't want to carry around the porch because them porches are catch-all. <laughs> right. Well, I see. I love the way you did your posts yeah. on the porch there. Yeah, I've done all my posters, all cedar posts. Those are cedar, okay. Yeah, these are cedars. And I kind of left some of the, like, the catch yep. stuff. Yep, yep. These are some of my, my branding arms. Oh, okay. This is mine, which is a EB. For oh, a. yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's mine. And uh, see, this here... It's part of my mom and dad's old brand. It was a, years ago. It was an eight, a eight, in front and an eight e, then flipped it over. Oh, a, I see. You flip so you it did back it. the other way. It was an eighty three, which was my grand, was my granddaddy's brand. And I then, see. And now my daughter and her husband is a, a MB. Okay. Uh huh. Yep. And my sister now has hers. Hers is the is a I think the three with a bar. Oh, I see. Underneath it. Yep. Like three so. bar. Yeah. And I built this door myself, and I built it extra big, and I got to redo my handle. My son done this whenever I was in the hospital. Oh. But uh, I want the old fashioned latch deal. I want to put on it. The old but, fashioned. Yeah, oh, just yeah. Okay. Metal handle like a. Yep. Kind of like this works, but I want to do that. 
Yeah. But uh, I built it wide because my dad was in bad, pretty bad health when I was building this house. And I figured, well, I built it wide so he'll have a place to get in with his wheelchair. Every sure. Day. And I'm. I noticed that. And I was, no, they built that for me. Oh, they did? Oh. <laughs> I was one of the. Because of the feet? Yeah. yeah. I, I was, see. I was a, a non weight bearing for almost a year. Oh, man. Couldn't, Ouch. Couldn't walk. Whew. For and almost a year. My son and Goodness. Then my son and son in law, and my I think, brother and nephew or two, they come down and built this little lean to on and built me this ramp, and covered it up. I see. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And you have to pardon the mess in here. Oh, no problem. But uh, get a light or two on. Oh, look at that. You did a. This here, these here are 15 foot, three inches tall. Oh, the, the posts. Yeah. Yeah. They go up to. Those uh, are pretty cool. What, did you buy them or cut yeah, them? Uh, a friend of mine gave me these. This. All this cedar here come off the place down here. The, which cedar? This, this stair, the staircase the cedar. The staircase? It came off the, the place. Yeah. Wow. I still got to put my handrails on up in front of my loft. So you, you built that though, huh? Yeah, I built this. I built all this. This is my, all this cedar here come off the place. You have, okay. You'll have to pardon the mess. Oh, this, this, the yeah, top this, too? Yeah, the center, the the cedar top, all this come off the place. Hmm. That's pretty cool. And I fell off the bar one night, one time already. <laughs> fell off of it? <laughs> well, I was building it. But... Oh, I see. So who, who's this here? That is my son and my daughter. Oh, I see. That's Becky. So they live here too? Yeah, that's Becky, the one you met and talked to earlier. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Yep. Yeah. Hog teeth. Hog teeth that you... Oh, come off the place, or yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, Where'd you get the tin? Did you? Uh, some of this tin come from uh, John Provence's dad. Oh, he did. It did. So I down wanted, there on their place, yeah. Somewhere? I want. He took it off an old building or shed there, and uh, I wanted to uh, tongue and groove blue spruce pine. Yeah, but a hundred dollars worth of sheet arm compared to five thousand dollars worth. of lumber oh yeah yeah and once i put it up i locked it i really at the time didn't actually I, th I think it looks great yeah yeah absolutely i didn't want i just I really had like she it. on here and here and in the loft i said i want the rest of it wood because i didn't want to put a whole lot of sheet metal in it oh then, you just didn't want too much yeah, yeah but then once i got it up i really liked it i so, think it looks yeah, great yeah. and i've done all the wiring run all my con i've done, done didn't most everything. all the wiring too yeah, and everything yeah, yeah. Countertops, they were just like two by six pine and mm -hmm. some, okay. some sheet metal. I built there a little tall. A lot of people I know can just break the foot. Yeah, absolutely. Off that's, look, a nice, I, that's a nice that's a nice height right yeah, there. Yeah. And uh the kitchen sinks are even a little taller, but I figured if I was gonna have to do ditches, I wasn't dishes, I wasn't gonna be stooping over so much. Right, you know, I so see. Everything's so a little higher. higher so you made the, the countertops a little higher too and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yes, back cannon. behind. That's can stuff. That's so are you can good. My me and my girlfriend both do. We we kind of work. She does most of the canning. I do the gardening. Oh, but, I uh, see. Okay. I, she, I've got a bunch. So you're canning. I've is got that? a bunch of that's tomato juice. Okay. And, and some then, of that salsa. Those are pickles. Hot pickles. pickles. Yeah. I'll send you a pickles. jar. You like pickles? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I like there's some of hot here. you can't hardly eat. And there's a that's candied. Uh, Jalapenos. Oh, okay. Candied. Yeah, candied jalapenos. So how, do you, how do you do that? Well, I don't know. she does it. You don't know? <laughs> you can take your jar that. that what is it? They're they're kind of a sweet hot. Oh, okay. They're kind of like you can rest take take like the cream cheese and put it on there with what's that pepper jelly and they yeah. smear it on crack put it on crackers. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. It's kind of like that. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. So these yeah. are the logs here. You can kind of yeah. see the end yeah. of them. Yeah, that's that's cool. Yeah. Okay. See, yeah. this is a different. Yeah, what's I guess that? that was a red cherry. I don't know what that yeah, was. Yeah, that's a it's dark a awful, color, huh? Awful red, and I don't know what that was. So you just put that one kind of an accent over the top mm -hmm. there, is the, yeah. the archway. I was actually going to burn my, all the family brands in it. Oh what, yeah, what absolutely. I intend, what I intended to. Yeah. Yeah. I built this little off the place. Hey. I don't think I was probably ten, twelve years old before we had indoor plumbing. 
Oh, really? Yeah. Really? So you still had an outhouse out there? I had an outhouse and we took a bath in a tub on the back porch. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fire pit out there, too. Fire pit. We, we gather out there every now and then. I actually thought this would probably been the best place for us to talk. <laughs> yeah. Is this a big... Is That's you, a big smoker. Big smoker. Yeah. Okay. Smoker. Yeah, I bet, you a, can, I bet you can smoke some stuff in there. Yeah, it's pretty good size, huh? Huh? Yeah, they probably full of wasps. I haven't used it in a while. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, that'll... As a matter of fact, there's a nest. Ooh. Yep. There's some wasps in it. <laughs> what? Are those just regular wasps? Or? Red wasps. Red what wasps. And buddy, yeah, they're, they're, they're nasty, mean huh? dude, boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we gather up the limbs that fall out of the trees. I, well, but it sure is beautiful, it. though. Man, yeah. I'll tell you what. It ain't, I mean, that's paradise to me. <laughs> it is. It is. It's wonderful, and it's not mm. for sale. It's not for it's sale. Not for sale. That's right. It's like I've been able to tell them, I've told them every time, there ain't a price. Yeah. Right. Not for sale. Right. Well, I appreciate it, man. You I bet really you. do. I bet you. Thank I, you, Trish, for coming. Appreciate it.